The fate of this year's Major League Baseball season is in limbo tonight. MLB owners and the Players Association cannot come to an agreement about money. Among those impacted most are the people who rely on the revenue the Rockies bring to downtown Denver. That's right. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is live on this tonight. Russell, there is a very real chance here that the uh, regular season games uh, could be canceled. Yeah, Shannon, on the calendar, opening day is one month away, but in reality, it's looking more and more like the season will not start on time, and that could leave Lodo businesses on the losing end. At Milk Market, one block down from Coors Field. I'll go check in on those guys. GM Jake Humphreys says baseball is a huge money maker. So opening day is usually one of our biggest days of the year. It brings in a crowd that fills the uh, entire restaurant up uh, twice over before and after the game. So the idea of a lockout this season could hit hard. Especially our staff. Um, they go in above and beyond to make sure that everyone here has the best experience that they can. Down the street at Wincoop. It's, it's scary, you know, you, you don't know what's going to happen. You can get you at a high top. Server Drake Horner says no baseball means no money. That's when we make our money. I go to grad school, I figure out I need it to pick up. We get a, a post game rush, pre game rush. It's uh, yeah, it's how we save up money for the slow season. The players just want a little more money. Broncos insider and former Rockies beat writer Troy Rank says one of the main sticking points in the negotiations is more money for young players. They want more money for the minimum salary. They want more money for players of zero to two experience, the best players of zero to two experience. They don't think the players should have to wait until really that fifth year to make big money. They want the best young players to get more money sooner because of their career window is short. Rank says it's also about increasing the salary threshold to encourage big market teams to spend more on good players. Rank says what's at risk? Losing fans over greed. You can't kill the romance of the game by taking away spring training. That's where you create new fans. That's where you have people take vacations. That's where the interaction occurs, the autographs. We did go to a lot over the, uh, the past year. Fans like Robert would hate to miss the action. I love getting out of the games. I live nearby, so uh, I hope we can get them started on time and find a resolution. It's a big bummer. Servers like Drake are hoping a deal gets done quickly. Absolutely, please help us out. Troy Rank says the clock is ticking. The players need spring training to prep for the regular season, especially the pitchers. Rank says they need about three weeks to prep, which means they need to be on the field by the end of this week. We're live in Lodo tonight. Russell Haythorn, back to you guys. All right, fingers are crossed. Russell, thank you very much. And we've seen this before. The Rockies were in their infancy when a dispute over money led to the 1994 World Series being canceled and players going on strike for more than seven months. The 95 season was on the verge of being played with replacement players when then federal judge Sonia Sotomayor issued an injunction effectively bringing that strike to an end. The Washington Post notes that Sotomayor peppered her ruling with baseball analogies and admonished the New York Times editorial board for suggesting she didn't know the game.